Who we have? Huge feeding view. I want to say 20, but I'm probably wrong. Um, a lot of people ask me what I mean by um, I keep stuff in shelves. Well, that's where I keep my roaches and my that's the old par high bonnet and my kluge. Uh, them, that's like the middle shelf. Shelf above it. That one's at the top because um, my smingeris, my sinusis, is on the really high temperature because it's a desert species. So um, that's higher up because warm air rises. So if I put it at the bottom, it's just all the teas. So it's at the top. Then I've got my P40, my two heteromechus, and my millipede at the bottom. But yeah, that's pretty much it. The, sh the top shelf's just really storage for now, spare tanks. And the bottom one I need to tidy up, tidy up because it's just random stuff. And yeah, so I need to tie that shelf up in the top one. But that's the story for another day. So for a change, I'm going to start on the middle shelf. And then I don't know what I'm going to do after that. Um, that shelf used to be empty and it got full quite quick. So yeah. Um, I'm going to start on this shelf and I usually start in that corner where my GBB is so I can put her back first and I stack the um, the tanks um, around her basically because she's in the corner so yeah um, I'm going to start with the GBB and I'll be back in a sec so I'm going to get all the tanks on this shelf out back in a sec I thought I'd feed this because I've never fed a centipede before um, there at the side. Um, don't know how it's going to react. And the locust has escaped. Let's see if we can get it to come. There, you can just see it there. more skittish than anything else. Not really defensive, you can see it's there. Uh -oh. As you can see it's quite skittish as it's just being shy. Um, you can see its tail just there. Mm, I'm gonna leave it in with it um, and check on it later. If I see it doing anything mid video, I will show you. Okay, back in a sec. Just there, you can see my Pseudohoplopus species Kazar, which I know for a fact is Pseudohoplopus species short hair. Um, I've just done what I do with all my slings and um, don't care how small they are um, crush the locust completely make sure it's completely dead and just drop it in um, if it munches on it it's easily seen if it's munching on it when slings are this small you can tell by the abdomen size really easily so that's pretty much all I'm going to do I know it doesn't seem like much but um, to it, even if it has a, eats one of its legs, like a tiny bit of its legs, that's a huge meal for a sling like that. So I should be glad when it molts a couple of times. Um, I hope these are fast growers, to my knowledge, I'm not too sure. I'm guessing they will be. They're a medium sized species, so yeah. As you can see, just wandering about, it's completely healthy. No problems. So far, I'm having no trouble raising this. Um, it's got past the scary th um, stage, which is it. Um, when they're being delivered to you, because um, someone can die during transit, so um, at least it's made it that far. Okay, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Adult female GBB, um, I did replace the substrate and she hadn't webbed up much, and um, that's why it's looking a bit bare. But, except that, she's doing perfectly fine. Very inquisitive for a female. And I'm always wondering, let's see if she's hungry. Yep, always hungry. One of my best eaters, uh, never really fails to eat. And one of the, I've had it quite a while, I think she's one of my 
There's a few tarantulas. I can't remember off the top of my head. I had a real while though. So yeah, I'm gonna leave her be. And uh, move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my very skittish um, Juve female Nandu Chromatis. Um, usually always eat, so let's see. Linked but the lattice is doing something stupid. I can't see exactly what. I'm using the big metal tweezers because it's quite quick. Oh, there we go, juggling that. Yeah, very good eater. Nandu's always are. Okay, I'm going to leave a be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. He's only just molted and I can't feed him but I need to show him in my feeding video because he's absolutely gorgeous. This is my freshly molted immature male Bebomi. And for an immature male he's quite big. Um, I don't know how to show measurements but it's a me medium fanarium. Um, flat. Um, so, pretty good, decent size. So, right next to my tweezers. I can't really show, I've got tape measure handy so I can't really show you the size of him. But he's got some good size to say he's a um immature male. I'm really shocked that he didn't mature out this month, so yeah. And we'll leave him be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. I don't know what's up with this girl at the moment, but um basically I just opened the lid, she struck, and um did a backflip. Um, I really don't know what's up with her, she just doesn't seem to be happy at all at the moment. I know it's characteristic of Nandu's, but it's just all of a sudden. Um, she's just very pissed off. I'll try and feed her, but um, I don't know what's up with her lately. She doesn't seem to want to eat, she's just very pissed off. So I'm just going to get some, um, I'll just get a locust and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've got a lively one. I'm going to drop it in and see if she's hungry. Um, I'll be honest with you, I don't think she's going to eat because she's just been pissed off. So yeah, let's see what happens. I hope she eats because I just don't understand why she's not eating. She just seems to be pissed off at everything. Or even the slight, like she's worse than my thermic twist conservatives at the moment. And that's saying something. Like I really don't get what's up there. She doesn't seem to be interested in food. No, she's webbing up. Oh, see what I mean? She strikes. Not interested in food. Do you understand why? Um, I suppose she's not skinny, so that sounds for all right. Hmm, let's see if one more time. Acting really weird though. Because she was a really good eater and then all of a sudden it's like, nope, don't eat. Just pissed off at everything. She could just be full, but it's been a couple of weeks now she hasn't had. So. Hmm. So after all that, she actually went for it. <laughs> Can't complain. She's just pounced on stuff, but yeah. Not too bad. That were a really, really good cat. Like, grab though, that was quite amusing. <laughs> she's like, whipped out and grabbed it. Oh, at least she's eight, finally. Okay, I'm going to leave her be to enjoy that. She's quite pissy, so I'm going to leave her be. Okay, back in a sec. This is my AA truck, you can see the tip of its abdomen just where my thumb is. Just there. I'm going to just drop that in, same as the um, Sudahoplopus species, short hair or Kazar, whatever you prefer. So yeah, I'm just going to do that, as I always do, and it seems to be doing fine, so can't complain. Okay, back in a sec. 
So this is my AA Trox, and this is also recently malted, so I'm not going to be feeding it, but it's kind of getting the adult colours now. Um, really gorgeous tarantula, but sadly I think it's a male. A um, bit good about that, but what can you do? Still, it'll live ages, and these live like a year to two years when they're mature, so really not a problem. Okay, I'm going to leave him be, and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Formictopus Conceritis um, Violet. Should be a good eater, Formictopus usually are. And last time I tried to water it, last week it went for the water pet, so let's see. Oh, missed it. These are usually really good eaters, Formictopus. And um, the Platus has been such a good eater, from um, large sling to small juvie. Whoop. Can't see where it went right. Just gonna grab a tub just in case you try to make a room for it. It struck it, but I think it might have got my tweezers. Hmm. I'll give it a sec, definitely worth the wait. Hmm. I do like my Femictopus though, very nice species. And there we go. I always hit like a ton of bricks. Even slings. Put in the light bar so you can see the colours. So yeah. That's the colours of a Fermictopus species of violet at sling stage. And um, this is hardened up. When they're freshly malted it's bright violet. But still, a really nice tea. Okay, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Trust me to pick the two biggest small, crick um, small locusts they have for the two slings. Ah, I didn't realise all small ones are underneath. Okay, this is my Cryperdromus um, um, Um This has got a common name that's been going around a bit, and it's the Black Amelia, I think. Um, it is a lot like the B Amelia. <clears throat> and it does have the black triangle on the carapace, but mine doesn't at the moment because it's still quite young. Decent eaters, not the best, but decent enough. <laughs> Just spooked it, they spooked each other. You can see the start of a black triangle, but. It is noticing it, could be in pre malt. The abdomen is looking quite dark, and it's just run straight past it. Hmm. Odd one. Um, I'm going to leave it in with it because I've got a feeling it, it'll either grab it or it might just leave it and it might be in pre -malt. Um, Yeah, I'm going to just leave it be. Okay, back in a sec. This is my desert blonde. Last time she ate, so I'm going to see if she's going to follow the shock and see if she eats again. Oh. She's a bit shocked by it, but... Never stopped tea eating. Um, see if she makes you hungry. I'll be shocked if she eats again, I'll be honest with you. I really will be. Oh, and it's drowning in the chuffing water bowl. She is quite shy. Really nice tarantula. Um, really, really nice. Captive bread, as I always mention. Do you want it? Really? Let her know. 
These are really slow species. One of the slowest about. Just really not bothered. Quite shy as well. I'll we'll try one more time. And if not, I'll leave her be. No, nope. she's basically kicked it. Didn't kick ass because he's never really kick ass. She's absolutely harmless. Okay, I'll well, leave her be. And move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my nutcase, um, Pecan Serotis, called Nightmare, and it's called that for a reason. Really? It's got a couple of springtails in its water, but mm, nothing too serious. Um, springtails are good, by the way. Um, just if they multiply and there's tons, it's not too good. What is this? The last time he was like this, he was in pre-molt. Um, you don't re really seem calm that much anymore. Um, oh, and that's probably dead. The first time he actually wakes up. Oh, and he's got it. Uh, must have been half asleep, because he's never calm. Okay, we'll leave him be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my quite cute um, immature male P40. Um, I do have an adult female, which I'll show you later. Um, but this little guy's from miles off maturing. Um, only a little juve, um, but it's like a tank, as you should see. Well, that was not his usual self. That was quite calm. <laughs> Gorgeous species though. Um, I do like my Pamphobetius, but I'll be honest with you, most of them look the same to me. Except after a molt, they get like a little tinge, but he's lost his main pink tinge. Now he's hardened up a bit. He's got still a bit around his eyes, but no too serious. Um, bit of a shame, but they are nice tarantulas and they are good eaters, so can't complain. Okay, back in a sec. This is my Cyclosternum Pentalor immature male. Um, as you can see, he's got really nice colours at the moment because he's freshly malted. Um, not going to be feeding them as he's really fresh still, but looking absolutely gorgeous. So I thought I'd include him. There's the other ones that are malted, I'm also including. So yeah, I'm going to leave him be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Holophilly Sanguiniceps, I'm not taking the full lid off because he's in skittish mode and I don't want to lose him. I'll take the lid off for a second just to show you him. He's got like a bronzish carapace, um, black to blue legs, very nice species, definitely worth buying. Um, I've got an immature, I think he's an immature male. Um, I'd never breed holophellies. Never. Just, I'd never breed them. They're too, too skittish. And that many babies at once? No, thank you. Okay, I'll leave it be and move on to the next one. I'll give you an update if this one eats. Back in a sec. This is my Lassidora Stratipi. He's looking absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've got this look in. I'm pretty confident he'll go for it. Yep, that's the Adoras, really good eaters, quite shy, um, up to the fully grown adult stage, but still really good eaters, and one of my favourite tarantulas. Okay, uh, I'm just going to warn you now, the next tea, usually after my last Adoras Chattopees, is the K Brunny Peeps, it is doing it's absolutely fine, you'll see it later in the video, I've just changed the arrangement of some of my tanks, and it will be my um, Lufus Dephoria Species Grease, so the scorpion. That'll be next. Okay, back in a sec. So here is my um, Lurus Dephoria species Grease. Should be hungry, usually always is. Captured red scorpions are good feeders, so let's see. Yep, I grabbed it. Just trying to decide where to go. Very nice scorpion, um, quite rare and even rarer captive bred. 
Can I see if it does anything else? Up to the light a bit better. So this is only um, a little juve. It does get bigger. I'm not too sure how much bigger. But yeah, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Yeah, it's heating. I'm going to leave it in peace because it seems to be camera shy to eat. Okay, back in a sec. I've turned on my flash because it's down its hole. Um, this is my Sparbothry Hoffmanni and one of my favourite all time tarantulas. I don't count it as one of my favourite species, uh, I mean genus, because there's only one thing in the genus. So it's just really tarantula. Should hit like a ton of bricks, usually does. Unless it's playing stupid. Struck it. Could be in pre mold. Wouldn't be surprised, it's had a really dark abdomen for quite a while. I'm going to give it a bit longer um, time to see it. Um, just to see if it, had if it climbs out and it doesn't attack it. I know it's definitely in pre mold. Which I'm not complaining about because um, its spike on its horn on top of its head will get bigger, so it'll look even more awesome. And um, this and Lassiodora stratipedes look awesome because I really like grey coloured tarantulas, and these are like a dark grey, and stratipedes at the moment is like a dark grey. These are more of a lighter grey, uh, I mean darker grey as adults though, and the stratipedes is. Um, more of a lighter grey, to my knowledge. Yeah, um, I'm going to check on it in a couple of days, but if I'm honest, I reckon it's in pre malt Locusts are completely harmless tra to tarantulas, so that's why I leave them in. Okay. Leave it be, I'm um, back in a sec. This is my Fomictopus Platus, generally quite calm. I've actually handled this one um, before, and it is really calm. Um, good eater though, so let's see if it's hungry. Yep, definitely. Yeah, but it's quite calm for a Fomictopus. Hopefully it stays like that. Um, I think it is a juvenile male though, so... Bit of a shame. But anyway, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. By the way, the locust has just climbed out of the spa buff for half a man's hole, so I know he's not going to eat. Nah, uh, I'll leave him be. Okay, back in a sec. As usual, my Uafa species yellows come out to play. Mm. And as usual, she's reluctant to go back in. Really nice little tarantula. Anyway, I'm going to try and get her back in. And I'm going to try and feed her. Okay, I'll just grab a locust and I'll be back in a sec. Gorgeous species. Okay, I'm going to drop this in. Let's see if she's hungry. Gonna roll it a bit. And drop it down. This locust does not want to stop moving. Oh, no, she just crapped herself. 
Okay, I'm going to try and get a bin back in and leave her with the locust. As I've said before, locusts are harmless. Okay, back in a sec. This is my adult female El Kluge, the largest tarantula in my collection. Um, she's in suspect pre malt, um, but I'm going to try feeding her as usual. Just. She's really like meh about everything at the moment. As you can see, she's really not fussed. She must be in heavy, heavy pre malt. And I'm going to leave her be and move on to the next one. As you can see, though, her abdomen's not small, not shriveled up in any way. So she'll just be in pre malt. Okay, I'll leave her be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This tea used to be one of my worst eaters. Now look at her. This of course is my LP. She used to be she just never wanted to eat, then I got her onto eating deads. And now she just takes anything that comes near her. Absolutely gorgeous tarantula, uh, suspect male, but not too sure. LPs get leggy anyway, so it could be female. Okay, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. I just thought I'd show my adult female H pizza. Um, the male always stays in his burrow, so I just thought I'd show the female. Um, well, suspect female, this could be the male, um, but to my knowledge, this is a female. Um, it's quite skittish, but really nice species of scorpion. Would advise them to anyone. Tried breeding them before, but I just gave up on that. Just don't seem interested. Okay, I'm gonna leave them be. I'll move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my very elusive P. Fortis. Um, never really comes out. Well, it comes out, but ne um, never on camera. The locust just headbutted my phone. See if she goes for it. Oh, really good shot. Yeah, this is my Pamphletius fortis, um, adult female, she's huge, not as big as male Kluge, miles off, um, but very big female, very nice, um, shame, she does come out, but whenever I try to take the enclosure out to show you her on video, um, I can't, because she just runs in a hide. Okay, I'm going to leave her be, I'll move on to the next one, back in a sec. This is my Vicularis species brew purple. Um, I'm gonna drop it in, see if she grabs it. Yep. <laughs> Avix. Really good eaters. Most of the time. <laughs> um, I'm liking this little one. Um, I did have a versicolor male that matured out, and this one actually reminds me a lot of him, so. I really like it. Really nice species. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. My hatchins is in there somewhere um, down that hole, I think. Um, I never feed this on camera. All my holophilines gold, just because they're stupidly fast. Holophilies are easily one of the fastest species. I've been told tappies are quicker, but never kept a tappy. So. I have no opinion on the matter, but yeah, very very fast, so I don't mess with them, and I don't feed them on camera. Okay, I'll leave it be, and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Holophilene to Gold, 
This is another one I do not feed on camera. It's a hollow felly, I've been over this. Stupidly fast. And this one's really small. I've raised this one from about a centimetre and I don't know how I haven't lost it. Nearly did twice. So yeah, I'll leave that one be. And I know it'll eat. I've dropped that in. It's not dead by the way, it's just plain dead. I know it'll eat it for a fact because this is a savage. Okay, back in a sec. This is my T Octier. Um should be hungry, always is. Let's have a look. Yep, charged it. Absolutely gorgeous species. Gets to a decent size. Um it's semi arboreal so should be fun to raise this one. Okay, gonna leave it be and back in a sec. This is my Chaco Golden Ninja pull cripes. Um Basically, um, it's malted, so I'm not going to be feeding it, um, but yeah, it's gained a good bit of size and it's a suspect male because it's malted like four times in a year, so uh, quite quick. Okay, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my police of Helma species Bolivia. Um, should be hungry, we shall see. And we'll leave it in with it, and if it wants it, it can grab it his son. We'll leave it be. And we'll move on to the next one. Back in a sec. My last Eudora Tabune has been sat like this for about two hours now. So I'm just going to feed her, um, and then we're going to take a water bowl out and clean it. But I'm going to distract her first with food. So let's see if she's hungry. Yep, definitely. She's the last Eudora. Is a suspect female. I think eventual sexing isn't the best, but I think she's a female. And I'm pretty confident about that. So I'm going to leave her a bit to eat, take the water ball out, and hopefully won't shoot, she won't put up as much as a fight. Because she's distracted. Okay, back in a sec. So this is my C Pentalo female. She'll be hungry. Looks like it's got her attention. Absolutely gorgeous species. Don't know why she's been so shy. Could be in pre -malt. If so, it'd be quite good. So I'll be able to know when I can breed her if my when my sea pencil or male matures. I'll just drop it in front of her. Oh, grab it. Grab it. She wants it, but she's not too sure. She had to get go for the tongs, didn't she? We'll leave it in with her. Okay, back in a sec. This is my Hiplopus species Columbia Large, which are male, still doing perfectly fine. Still eating. Sperm web galore at the moment. Oh. Is he going to actually eat on camera? I'm going to wait because if he eats on camera, that'll be awesome. Nah. I'm always interested about his females at the moment. I'm going to leave it in for him anyway. See if he eats. Okay, back in a sec. This is my C Pentalor female. Definitely interested.
and I think she's got it. Nope. Just put the substrate. Yeah, I'll give you some extra film time. She's an absolutely gorgeous female. I'm going to leave her be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Before it runs away, I'm going to show it. Um, this is a Petrino Pelma Sazim, Mai, whatever. There it is. Um, this is a female. Um, some people are thinking, oh, what's this species? It's nothing. This is going to be the next big thing. This is like the P. Metallica of New Earth. Like um, terrestrial new worlds, and um, people are going to start going mad over these once they get out there. And um, they are very rare and very expensive. They're only discovered like 2011, and um, I don't know how they got into the hobby this quick, but they have. And um, they're bright blue, um, like a bright blue tarantula. Um, obviously, mine's just a sling. It'll um, gain the bright blueness in a couple of molts, and it's an adult female. And you can see the blue tinges um, on the start of the legs, but nothing too mad. Um, but yeah, it's going to be the next big thing. So if you see one of these for sale, they will be expensive, but I'd buy one. Because people are going to go mad about these when they get out there. So yeah, um, I'll just grab a locust and I'll feed it. And I'll well, just grab a locust and I'll be back in a sec. So I'm just going to feed it, and um, by the way I'll warn people, for a um, new world terrestrial they are very very fast, like stupidly fast, they're close related to the Acanthus scurria and Nandus, um, so they're just kept dry, but except that, they're very fast. Don't know if it got it. Hmm. Nope, it didn't get it. It's just against the edge. Probably in pre malt to be fair. Yeah, I'm going to leave it be. I'll move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is another rare tarantula. It's just sat there. Should be hungry. Yep. I think it's grabbed it. A bit yet. Yeah. Then it's got it. Um, this is the K Brunny Peeps. Um, if you Google it, it'll come up with a lot of images of them. A very nice species. And I advise them to anyone. There's quite a lot of slings going around at the moment, but this is an adult female. <laughs> Not very big. Yeah, they're a dwarf species, but a very nice dwarf species. And I'd advise them to anyone. Um, if you like your holophilies, um, you'll like these. They are a really nice dwarf species. So yeah, slings are going about at these, um, but no, <laughs> not many adults. And I've got an adult female, so yeah. I like my rare teas. <laughs> okay, back in a sec. And last, but definitely not least, I'll just move them up until I a bit more. Um, my Anemphis Intermedius. Um, I know this one will eat, he's a good eater. Um, so let's see if he actually does. Shocked for the ant got it by now, but. Should do. Yep, he grabbed it. A um, couple of fruit flies in his enclosure, they look too serious. If it gets serious, I'll just clean him out. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this feeding video. Um, an alright one, not the best, but not the worst. Um, I'll give you an update in a couple of days of what's ate. By the way, the male P40 has actually dropped his prey, so I don't know if he's gone back to it. But I'll give you an update in the update video. I think there's about... 15 things that I need to give an update on, so yeah, well, about 30, because I need to check on scorpions as well, um, so yeah, well, I don't include scorpions anyway, so yeah, I'll give you an update on about 15 things, so yeah, um, I will see you in a second, back in a sec.
Okay, so um, these are the stuff that ate. Um, the clip just before this is my flagtail centipede eating. That was really late at night and I thought it was awesome to catch. Um, you have the species yellow ate um, the A Aatrox and um, Pseudohiplopus um, species Kazar. Um, I've seen both of these eat. Um, I obviously, I take the, um, the locust out a couple of days. Um, a couple of days after, um, I just realised that this one hasn't ate, I need to spot that locust. Um, just take that out, put it in the other pile, and get to that in a second, because that's a really odd one. Um, give me a second, I'm just going to put this in the box. Um, the other ones that, uh, that have ate are my. So I'll just go through it quick. The flag cell centipede ate. Um, the Euphorus species yellow ate, um, the A. Aatrox and the Pseudohiplopus species Kasaba ate a little, um, Cryprogelmus puriscal ate, H. Insit ate, um, H. Sanguiniceps ate, Holofella into gold ate, um, Lufus dophoria species Grease ate, the Red Claw ate, and the H. P. T. C. Um, female ate. Um, I didn't include this, all the scorpions, but I thought I'd mention that they ate because I did feed them. These are the ones that haven't ate. Um, I have mentioned this in another video, um, but yeah. My Holophilly, uh, I mean, Hippopotamus species Columbia Large, made like a cocoon, is definitely still alive, but all it's done is dragged all the webbing and made a little cocoon. I'll show you it quickly. Um, it's just, it hasn't ate. I thought it did, but I was wrong. Um, um, Spar Boffery Hoffman didn't eat. Um, by the way, most uh, all these are in s all of them except one are um, suspect pre malt. Um, so Spar Boffery Hoffman is suspect pre malt. Petrino Sazime um, suspect pre malt. P species Bolivia um, suspect pre malt. Hadrogen's polysens obviously it's scorpion and I don't think it's in pre malt, it's just not hungry. Um, H. PTC um, male didn't eat. But I'm not worried about him, he doesn't eat much, but he's still doing fine. The Saxon and Fasciatum, um, that didn't eat. C. Pendlow female didn't eat. And the Pamphobetes fortis ate a little, but left half, so I'll just put it in this pile. Um, that's the one I don't think it's in pre malt. But yeah, um, Swallow Fuff Mane, Petrino Palma, Sazime, Pelsino, Petrino Palma, Sazime, Pelasino Palma species Bolivia. Um, the Sacristan and Fasciatum and the um, Sacristan and Pentalo are in both are all in suspect pre -malt, so I've got five. Yeah, five in suspect pre -malt out of this video. Um, the Elk Luke is also in suspect pre -malt, that's another story. Okay, simple people, bye.